Hey, we're live. Hey, everybody. How are you doing? This is Tam here. And for those of you guys that are on here right now, you might have seen our promo uh, on FB, right? Two shirtless dudes uh, that are going to share with you guys some awesome, awesome <laughs> tricks tonight. But I'm sure a lot of you guys are coming here tonight, not because of the FB strategies, but you're coming here to see us shirtless. And so, you know, <laughs> we're keeping the integrity and we're doing that right now. So I am by the pool. Brian, uh, he just got out of the pool. Actually, it's uh, 8 p.m. over his side of the, the world. And so, therefore, it's dark outside and it's really impossible to do hangouts outside. Otherwise, it would have been really, really cool. So, what we're showing you here right now is an example of you know, an internet um, marketing lifestyle. If you're making money on the internet, right, you can literally be making money anywhere. Um, you know, any, anywhere around the world, anywhere you want, anywhere around the house, right? You don't have to even leave your home. And I'm by the pool today. Uh, after this, I'm probably going to jump in. So we're very excited uh, to share with you guys what we've got, um, what we've got, you know, um, lined up to tonight, right? We're going to show you how to use, you know, FB's hidden gem, where only a few people, a handful of people, actually knows about. We're going to show you how to tap into that, how to generate unlimited quarterly leads daily for your business, for any business for that matter. And then we're going to show you how to uh, properly connect with these people so that when you add them, you know, they don't hit that, uh, uh, that button when Facebook asks them, you know, do you know this person? They hit no, and then you're put into jail. So we're going to show you how to sort of bypass that. And so, uh, you know, you're going to have a better chance of connecting these people uh, and then towards the end, if you stick towards the, to towards the end, we're going to go into some uh, deep psychology strategy on how we are able to use, um, you know, some of the techniques that we're using to convert people, people that, you know, literally, um, that we just met on Facebook. We do not know who they are. And we're able to connect with them. And we're able to, to turn them into, first of all, leads and then friends and then, you know, business partners. So we're going to go into all those cool stuff we're gonna dig real deep in but before we go into it um, you know I just want to share a little bit about myself right um, five years ago I was not you know living by the pool I was not sitting at home building a business on the internet I was actually out in the paddock out in the farm I'm actually a strawberry farmer we still have farm today and I remember days when we're just like um, you know it was it, days where it's just really, really hot and humid, and we're out there with you know long sleeve shirts, pants on, masks. There's dust everywhere, and the, you know we're, we're bending over, we're picking these strawberries. And some days, you know, it rains, and um, you know we're out there in the mud, in the wind, in the cold, and you know getting these strawberries picked because you know that was how we made a living. We didn't know better. Now with the you know advent of the internet. I mean, it just really, really makes sense to diverse, you know, to take our business to the internet. Because if we were going to focus our time 100% into something, we believe that we can be successful at it. So why not, you know, uh, do something that, you know, there's better leverage, there's better duplication, there's, you know, where, do something where, you know, you can get consistent income and you do it, you do it once, you set it up, and then you can literally be making money uh, anywhere you, you are around the world while you're traveling, while you're sleeping, or even when you're not working at all. So, you know, which I've chosen personally the internet. And, uh, you know, for the last 90 days, um, you know, I've been, uh, since I found Empower Network, um, I've been able to just enjoy this lifestyle at a, at a different level. Because, uh, and we're going to go into, you know, uh, the system that we're using more later on but you know ever since I found a power network it's just been um, it's just been a joy ride from there I've been to I, in the last six months I've been to Austin Orlando um, Chicago Miami and in a few uh, in a few weeks I'm gonna be in Denver so it's really really freaking awesome this lifestyle um, Brian I'm gonna pass the mic to you right now buddy and uh, you know What's on your mind? Share a little bit about yourself before we get into the meat and potatoes of tonight. Yeah, man, for sure. So uh, first and foremost, I am not wearing uh, red eyeliner. Um, actually, this weekend, I went down to 
Okay, so I, I don't know if the cat's out of the bag yet or not, but but my mentor, my sponsor, just crossed over a million dollars, and uh, he had a little private mastermind with about ten people or so in his city, in, in his hometown in Houston, and um, you know he he invited us there. He kind of he basically turned his laptop around, showed us you know what's working now versus what's working then. He's been doing this for eighteen months now, um, and he just crossed that million dollar mark. Income disclosure, you know, you may not be as awesome as him, may not be able to make as much as him. Uh, but you may be able to. So either way, it, does, it just depends on how much you work and, and how much you're able to take what we teach and actually put, take action on it, right, and ap apply it in your business. So anyway, we're down there, and um, some we're, we're hanging out. We're having fun. He's teaching us all these strategies. He's showing us what he's doing now that's working. And um, we go to, a, uh, we go to a, a, a trampoline dodgeball place. Basically, it's a giant warehouse, and the entire warehouse is full of trampolines all over the floor, and they got this this dodgeball court set up. So we're doing flips and bouncing all around and throwing these dodgeballs at each at each other. And this 15 year old, I think he's 15. He looked like he was 15, uh, probably about six two though. He's pretty big uh, or tall and like super scrawny and skinny. Whips this dodgeball at me out the corner. I, I see it coming from over here, and I'm like, bing, and it makes this vibration sound in my head. I hear it too, and it like shakes my eye. And, you know, it just kind of hurt a little bit, but I didn't think much of it. The very next day I woke up, and now I got this, like, red eyeliner-looking thing on one eye. So, <laughs> so that's the story of what's going on there. But, you know, a little bit about me. Uh, a short while ago, I actually graduated from college. I got my degree from, from Texas A&M, you know, computer science, business minor. Uh, I was going to jump right into the working world and, and, and work my way up the corporate ladder, and things were going to be great, right? Well, it uh, turns out I was kind of sold – you know, I don't want to say a lie, but it wasn't exactly the truth, right? It wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. The job market was a lot different going into college than it was coming out. So long story short, um, I ended up taking a job in in Dallas, where I live now. I'm from San Antonio, uh, and I'm living with my friend's house in his laundry room, working for his dad for $11 an hour. Um, now, I, I don't want to make that sound too bad, but I because he did have kind of a nice place, but I literally did live in his laundry room, uh, but it was big enough to fit a mattress on the ground right beside the washer and the dryer, and then I could sleep on that mattress. Actually, one weekend, uh, I, I went out of town for, for an event or something that I was doing, and um, her, his mom overflowed the, the washer, and it like soaked my mattress, and I didn't know it. And, and I guess when I came back, it had mostly dried, or, or pretty much completely dried, but some kind of mildew or funk or whatever grew in it. I don't even know, but I, I slept on it. The next day, I woke up with this terrible rash. My foot was swollen like the size of a softball. I'm walking around like there's pins and needles inside my feet, limping, limping through to the, uh, to, the, to the doctor, and he actually tells me, he says this to me, He's like checking out. He's like, I don't know what it is, but antibiotics are going to cure it. <laughs> and it gives me a shot right in both ass cheeks, right? And then sends me off to Target to limp through Target and get some some pill antibiotics. And it goes away after about a week or so. Uh, and the swelling went down like right away after those shots. But uh, that that's just kind of the point I was at in my life. And um, I worked my way up that that business from 11 an hour all the way up to a salary salary position. You know, I got some raises. And then uh, down economy, that company kind of went down a little bit, and I got laid off, right? Well, really quickly afterward, I got another job. One year later, fast forward to uh, May 31st of this year, and I got laid off again. Luckily, this time, though, I had actually partnered with some people. I partnered with Tam and some other awesome entrepreneurs, and uh, now I'm actually able to retire early. I live full-time on my own income. Uh, I spend days by the pool. You know, you may have seen my freedom video where it first happened to me. I was so fired up. My friends were having a party. We went out to the pool and, and you know, had some beers and stuff and and uh, basically had a, had a great time celebrating me getting laid off, right? I, I had a plan in place for me to fire or to uh, to quit, right? And uh, that just so happened to cut that plan right in half. So, you know, like a baby, baby eagle just being dropped and, and taught how to fly, I was thrown out there and forced to make it work for myself. And, you know, that that's there's kind of a lesson in that when – when you don't actually have a plan B, when there is literally no other option but for you to have success, for you to make money and make it work, uh, you will, right? So that's something that I found, and uh, I hear a lot of other people talking about it as well. And so you know, just just kind of what we're gonna we're gonna go into some strategies a little bit on Facebook and and find this find this gym and, and teach you guys basically what you, what we're doing and uh, how we're able to live these 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 internet rock star lifestyles. So you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass it back to you, Tam.
Awesome, Brian. Thanks for, uh, for sharing. Um, you know, guys, the reason we, you know, started this Hangout um, is to really, you know, open your eyes up to the possibility of, you know, social media. Now, Facebook is just one strategy. Um, for a lot of people that are thinking of coming online, that are watching this right now, you're thinking of joining a business, but, you know, you look around and you're thinking, well, a lot of the strategies require you to pay money, like banner ads or something PPC, but you know, for those of you who, who don't have money but have a lot of time, right? Tonight is 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 you know is perfect for you. Just you know, get get out a pen and a piece of paper. We will have this recording. Um, you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably package this and use it as a bonus, right? You can you go, you're gonna watch it live tonight, but it won't be accessible for you unless you hit the button below and sign up so you can rewatch the uh, the recording. We're gonna go into some real cool stuff. Now, with internet marketing, the coolest thing is this. It's very low overhead. You don't need a large amount of money to start, right? You don't even need to have a product to start, right? Um, you can just sign up, become an affiliate, have a great quality product right now that you can start promoting right now. And like I said, you don't need money. All you need is uh, some time. If you have a lot of time, this hangout is it for you. Um, so we're going to delve right in to the Facebook strategy. Uh, first of all, though, we're going to share with you guys, you know, um, the hidden gem that we've been talking about, how you're able to just uh, spend a lot of time on Facebook, generate a ton of leads, and, uh, and then we're going to show you how to convert those leads. With that being said, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add, Brian, before you go into, um, you know, the, the, the meat and potato of, of whatever that gem tool you want to share? Oh man, um, I'm I'm ready when you are. I can I can share my screen and start talking. Awesome. Start let's, let's do that right away. All right, all right, guys. Uh, so we will jump right into the training. Give me one second. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Right here. Share screen. Let's go to Facebook. Okay. So, all right, all right. So uh, he had mentioned earlier. Let me. Uh, get out of this stuff and turn off my crazy chit chat that everybody's doing here, um, so we're not interrupted. Now, what, what I'm about to show you is kind of um, you know everybody has this now. It used to be in beta, and I think it's 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 been launched to the entire public. I could be wrong, um, and so if I am, it is called Open Facebook. Okay, so if you just Google that, it's this first one right here. If you don't have it, you can click on Open Graph. And um, well, it looks like it's set up. Yeah, there used to be a beta test button, so now everybody has access to it. All right, so this is your Facebook Open Graph tool. This is a new search tool, and, and it looks a little bit different than the old one, uh, and it's extremely powerful. You know, we'll, so we'll start with here where, where it first opens up. So this is people I may know. You can, you can type in all kinds of sentences and test stuff and, and tweak stuff, but an easy way to just get to see all of the options available to you is, is right here this little search bar okay so basically what you're gonna wanna do with the Facebook open graph tool is this allows you to really it's almost creepy right you, you can almost dig in a little too deep to what people are doing but you can find out a lot about you can target a lot of interest that people have because people naturally they get on Facebook and they click like on different pages and they add themselves to different groups and you know they put themselves as you know working at this location or, or working at this job and and whatever and and you can you can drill down to a very specific subset of people um, it, that have all the attributes that you're looking for. Okay, so now I'm not going to go too much into giving away all the secrets. I'm actually going to challenge you to think for yourself on on some of the uh, some of the things of of what your target market might look like. Because I don't know what kind of business you're building, uh, but we may be able to show you you know the best way to do that right here. Okay, so. For me, for, for this business, for if you're building a multi-level marketing business, if you're building a, you know, uh, a business like us, like Empower Network, uh, which are, what one of your target markets, one of your best target markets that you'll find is actually other network marketing. Okay? So why, why is that, right? Why is that? So why, why would other network marketers be a great target, marketing, target market for you to build your MLM company? Okay, so let me hit you with a couple of facts real quick. You know, the majority of people in MLM are brand new. And the reason for that is because uh, the majority of people in MLM quit. They get in, 
They don't make money in 90 days because they don't take massive action. They don't make a decision to make this work for them. They think of it more as like a lottery ticket, and um, they just, you know, they, they get in, they don't, nothing happens. The business isn't built for them, and then they ultimately end up quitting. Now, you're on this, you're on this training, so you're, you're not that type of person, right? You're the type of person that can find good training and actually take action on the team and then have good success and, and, and make a lot of money doing it and have a lot of fun, right? So, you know, now, now you know your, your target market is other network marketers because they aren't going to give you stupid objections, right? So if you've ever made a list of your friends and family, you'll find a lot of people that, you know, some of them will say it's a scam. Or you know that's one of those pyramid schemes or one of those Ponzi deals, uh, and and you know they'll they'll brush it off like right away. Well, if you if you think about it, network marketers those are people that are already sold on the dream, right? They already believe in the idea that they can build a business themselves. They are already looking to become entrepreneurs. And so one of the critical factors when I was building my MLM offline was timing, and timing. Uh, you know, you you you'd, you'd approach somebody, you'd show them your business, you'd show them what's going on, how they can make a whole lot of money, and you know the timing wasn't right for them, right? It's just it, things aren't bad enough for them in their life that they want to improve it. You know, maybe their job is just okay, like they complain about it, but overall they kind of enjoy it, and it's just not time for them. They don't they don't have it in them enough to want to make a lot more money, okay? And so then at that point, I was told, you know, just put them on the list and contact them for three months how you're doing and whatever build keep that relationship going and and you know while that stuff works that's really slow uh, and there's a lot of rejection a lot of pain in it so a better way a better way is to find other people that are already are network marketers build a relationship with them using these awesome tools of Facebook and um, and and then from there you know when when the need arises when the opportunity shows itself and we'll show you a couple of ways to, to get that opportunity, uh, then that's when you ask them to and present your business to them. Okay, so uh, how, how do you find good network marketers? All right, I'm gonna show you how to find network marketers and then how to drill in a little bit better to find leaders, okay? Because one of the things that you may not be able to do immediately, but you know, when you start to do it a while, you can actually find network marketing leaders on Facebook and you can you can you can build a relationship. You can meet network marketing leaders. Okay, so let's just go with a real simple, easy one. Um, you can one of the things you can say is like people who. All right, so Amway is just a, the you know a massive network marketing company, and now I have a huge list of people who like Amway. Okay, now this is targeted in that they actually went to the Amway US fan page. That's Facebook. Amway US. They actually went to the Amway US fan page and they clicked like. So you'll actually find me in this group here. Now that's targeted in that you know I I know what Amway is and I did click like, but I may or may not necessarily be in Amway. Now I, I'm actually not, but this is a list of people that may or may not actually be in Amway. So if you have a product or service that you know helps people in Amway build their business faster, uh, then this really isn't the way to go. Right, so well, a better way, a way that I find more success in, um, although that works, and you can you can filter through this list and find all these people that love Amway. Um, I I like to do it this way. I like to come in here to employer, and a lot of people will add Amway as their employer. Okay, so now this is this is people that say works at Amway US, works at Amway US. So you can find people that actually work there, and then when you scroll down a bunch. You know, this list just goes on and on and on and on and on. And there's just pages and pages and pages of these people that say that they work at Amway. Okay, and new ones pop up all the time. I mean, a new person, you join Amway, picture picture this, right? You you join Amway, you're fired up about the ability to get, get five who get five who get five, and you want to build this massive team and, and take over your local area, right? Well, you know, you're, you're going to broadcast it to your Facebook friends. You're going to tell everybody, you're going to say, I work at Amway, okay? And so this, this works for more than just Amway. I'm just using them as a generic example. Uh, but then one of the things I would do is I go over to Google and I'd say, um, I would type in right here, Amway Levels. And maybe check out some of these images. And then, okay, I'm seeing all these awards and qualifications. Here are some of the, let's see if I can see this image a little better. Sorry, it's sideways, guys. But... Um, 
here's some of the levels in Amway. You can see these are like founders, crown ambassador and all that. So if we come down to the bottom, silver producer, gold producer, direct distributor, you know, we'll just say one of the more popular ones is diamond. That's, that's just such a difficult level to get to. And that is definitely someone who is a leader. If you find someone's a diamond. So we're looking now at this long list of people and uh, it just continues to go and go. And I can do a search for me in Chrome. That's just control F. Uh, so whatever browser you're in, you know, just figure out how to do a search, and I might search for Diamond. Okay, here we go. Former Go Diamond at Amway US. Not entirely positive what that is. Uh, here it is. Here's a Diamond at Amway US. So maybe you know I might send them a message, and, and we'll dig in that a little bit further. But this this right here, I'm just touching on how to find the people. So now I I know that this guy is a Diamond at Amway US. I can go down further, and well, that actually found an ad. So if I continue to scroll and found you know more and more people and let this list populate more and more um, I would end up with more diamonds that I'm looking at now now diamonds not the only one right I could I could take it down a step and try to find people that are sapphires let's say oh, nobody is a sapphire apparently so you know but basically that that gives you an idea of, of what's going on there right so you can you can find people that are specific ranks and this this works for Amway you know you can look at Herbalife, Avon, wh whatever company you're you're looking at targeting whatever company maybe if you actually are still building an MLM you may want to find somebody who is in the same type of company right so if you're building a health and wellness maybe maybe go find Herbalife people and uh, add them this way and so you at the the exact same process would would fit you would search for Herbalife and now you're looking at all these different levels in the Herbalife compensation plan, founder circle, chairman, oops, wrong click, global expansion team, world team, supervisor. That's a pretty good one to hit for, right? So, you know, this isn't somebody that's necessarily as tied to their computer or as to their uh, organization as president's team. And there may be a chance later, you know, further on down where there may be a bump in their company and maybe they're not as satisfied with what's going on and, and they're looking for something else. And so if you've built a good relationship with them over time um, and continue to be consistent in your business, these people will, will be open to listening to it. So this is just a good way to add a lot of friends that are, that are high levels, right? These are a good way to add leaders, people where if you get them one of them, just one, into your business, excuse me, it'll completely change what you're doing. Okay, does that, does that make sense? Um, I'm going to, Tam, does that make sense to you? Can you still see me? You there, buddy? Tam? Yeah, sorry, man. My uh, mic is on mute. No, I understand it completely. Yeah, keep going. I can see you. Okay. Um, so from here, you would then just, just send him a message and, and add him a friend. But I'm, I'm actually going to pass it back to you to, to talk about the, how the conversation goes basically what you do after you do add them as a friend um, and and how you how you transition from you know what the relationship that you've built and how, how you transition from that to actually presenting an opportunity to them presenting you know let's say presenting in power network right how, yeah. how you show one of these people that you've built you know what what you have to offer how you can help them make a lot of money awesome so what Brian has just shared is you know how you actually find targeted people for your business no matter what your business is so there's no point in you know uh, going back into that again but um, so let's let's move on from there and, and let's show you how to you know when you connect with people what it is that you should be doing um, keep in mind right these are real people so when you are for example when you want to make friends at a live event or when you meet someone first time at a sports event or something like that, what do you do? Do you like um, do you like immediately ask them to join your business? You don't do that, right? So you actually you have to be patient with this strategy. You have to look to build quality relationship, right? So a lot of people uh, they move around Facebook. They just want to you know quickly find a prospect so they can sell something to them, right? It's not how this game works, right? When you're on Facebook. Um, you gotta. I want you to just have in your mind that you're trying to build um, a bunch of quality friends. You know, people that you like to to have in your newsfeed, uh, people that you want to work with. You know, real relationships. 
Okay, and when you come off as like as authentic and 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 you want to just connect with them and be friends with them, that is how they'll feel uh, like they really want to work with you, and then they'll turn around and start checking out your stuff, right? So I'm gonna right now do a screen share. Awesome. Can you see my screen, buddy? Uh, yes, it's going into the matrix. Awesome. There it is. All right. So, um, so Brian just got to the part where you start contacting people. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. Um, so let's say, for example, my favorite targets would be uh, people who uh, like blogging, right? Mm -hmm. Right, okay. And I want to go down here, see more. Oh, actually, there it is. Under friendship, uh, I'm going to go to not my friends, people I don't know, right? Now you can further target this down um, you know, current city and stuff like that, but I just use this as, a, as an example. So here we've got Danny Yoon, right? Um, first of all, I want to check him out, right? We know that he likes blogging, and uh, oh, actually, look, he's got the Empower Network in a circle, so I'm not going to uh, approach him at all, right? Um, I'm just going to leave him, okay, so we'll go with Lisa, right? Um, First of all, what I'll do is I'll hit her name and I'll go to her profile. And I'll just click around. She's actually a friend of mine, and she is super awesome. She's built teams in the millions <laughs> of teams. So she she's is. Uh, she's definitely she's probably, definitely a leader. And you found she's her right away. Watching this hangout right now, Brian. Yeah, um, that's a good actually, good possibility. Good Lisa, Lisa's a the one that thing. taught me a whole lot about hangouts. Actually, she is amazing. Okay, not my friends. Uh, uh, I don't know if there's a way where you can select like no mutual friends. So anyway, but I think the best thing to do is look at mutual friends, right? So I want to find someone who I'm not actually uh, mutually connected with. I mean, uh, that's going to be quite hard. Um, actually, I'm going to do another example. People like, you know, uh, dog right. training. People who are not my <laughs> friends and like dog training. All right. Uh, that come up? Okay. Oh, okay, there's actually a lot of mutuals in here as well. People who like uh, Anyway, guys, we're just going to pick, pick one person, right, uh, as, an as an example. So, actually, no. I'm going to do a real example because I want to actually build a relationship and not actually waste time. So I'm going to do city. You know and I'm going to do. Awesome. <laughs> I don't. I'm going to do. You know at least. Oh, go ahead. I'm going to do Brisbane, and uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go back to. Uh, whoops. I'm going to go back to blogging. So I'm going to connect with people who likes blogging who lives in Brisbane, right? Blogging lives in Brisbane. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Here we go. One mutual friend. So I'm going to use Christopher in this case, right? So I'm going to uh, go to his profile. And remember, people. People, um, people like to talk about themselves a lot, right? People don't care about you or who you are, right? Um, so the best way to connect with people is to talk about their interests, what they like, you know. Um, so when you look at their timeline, I want you to take notice of the things that they post, right? Now the reason they post these things um, is only because you know they, it's something that they care about most. I mean, here we go. He posts something about Che, uh, che uh, Guevara. Uh, I might, I might write something about that. So, 
Let me just look a little bit further, see what I can find. Cool. So this guy's extremely positive. He's posting a lot of cool stuff. Um, okay. Jacob. And then you can go to their about section as well. The more you learn about them, the better. Right, but I'm going to show you a quick uh, sneaky trick before you add them as a friend, right? Look down here. This is that, this is the part that I want to hear because I actually don't know this. I I have been put in FBJO quite a bit. Right. Yeah, and Pretty that'll cool. slow you down right. a bit. So he's got a website. If they've got a website, I encourage you to go and just so check it out. It doesn't take long at all. Check it out because you really want to build you know real relationships. If this person is someone that you know doesn't appeal to you, uh, you know. Don't contact them. You know, for me personally, I want to connect with leaders, people who are going to take action, people who are in business. You know, um, so yeah, okay. Well, for this example. All right. So before I even send Christopher a message, right, guys? I want to go back to his timeline. Right. Let's scroll down. Okay. So. This guy has posted something, right? Um, okay. It's not important to me, but it is important to him. So I might just hit the like button, right? So what that just what just happened is now he's going to get a notification that says Tam Dang likes your post. All right. And I'm going to scroll further down, and uh, I'm going to hit a couple more likes. Right, and then I might just place a comment here. Oh, hey, uh, Christopher. So is his name going to come up? Okay, I'll show you a quick trick right now. If when you write their name, if they're not on your friend list, their name's not going to show up. But you can do this. Let me scroll up. So you can do an at Chris. Uh, Christopher. Um, oh, Mac. And now you see his name come up there? Christopher McGraw. Uh, <laughs> McCraw. Right. So I hit that. And I'm going, hey, Christopher McCraw. Cool picture. Picture. I right. just something simple, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure that that picture is about him liking Shay, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well, but whatever. Yeah, you definitely whatever, whatever doesn't matter. So that's gonna make it to where it doesn't ask that question if you know him, or yeah, how does so, that work? Well, the thing is, this I I. I noticed from doing this, right, and um, I can do this inside of uh, groups as well. Um, let's go into some groups right now. So let's say entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, okay. Let's go to some, some groups. And you see a lot of people like sort of posting lots and lots of ads, right, guys? I mean, and I know a lot of people that are brand new marketers, they'll come in here and they'll create a post as well. They're like, hey guys, do you want to generate leads? Blah, blah, blah. Go to this link, right? But that's what everyone does, all right? Don't do that. See, in this, in this group right now, I've got a bunch of prospects that I can connect with right now. You know, people who are actively promoting their business, right? They might not be uh, promoting a power. They may be promoting a power. I don't know, but you know, it just, but these people tells me that they're action takers, right? They're in here they're actively promoting their business. So I might just go like that, and I say, you know, hey, hey, Alan, uh, you know, what is this that you are? It sounds inner wrist. Uh, 
better connect more. Okay, so what I've done here is, you know, I've actually taken the bait, right? I've allowed him, I've reached out to him, I've allowed him I want to, you know, to come with me uh, with his message, right? So this guy might uh, continue the conversation down here with me, uh, and then after a while he might add me, or if I add him, he's not going to hit the, 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 the no button, right? He's going to say, yeah, I know this guy, I want to connect with him, right? And then, I mean... For a lot of people, they want to just sort of build friendships so fast. You know, they'll go into they'll go into here and they'll add people or they'll send a message, right? And you know, people get turned off by that, and it costs you a lot of money as well. Um, for some people, like if you, I don't know if you guys get this. Okay, this is cool. I can send him a straight message, but sometimes uh, Facebook will ask you for a dollar. Um, to send a message to their inbox, otherwise it will go to their other inbox, right? And um, you know that's that's not a very good strategy. And then if you add them, it's going to hit the no button. And if that happens, you know, several times, Facebook's going to put you into jail. So, um, you know, so to Brian, is that is that you know is that pretty cool? Yeah, that's real cool. So what you're saying is what what you showed, you know, you basically told him, hey, I'm I'm your best prospect, right? Like you you've pretty much just said, hey, hey, check me out, because because I'm you know, you, you made him want to respond to you and want to seek you out. Exactly. Right? I, I know that if I was promoting something and somebody said that, I, I absolutely would, would do what they said, right? And connect with them. Right. So now you're getting people to send you friend requests. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's, if he, that's powerful. If he if he doesn't send me a friend request, that's cool. We can continue the chat here if he's interested, and I'm pretty sure he will. Like you said, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, if people respond to you, you're gonna you're gonna keep talking to him. But the idea here is to get a conversation started. When you get conversations going, um, I mean, they're gonna try and push, you know your 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 opportunity your opportunity to them. And as long as you keep talking to the point where they're gonna ask you what it is that you do, right? When they ask you that question, that's, that's, like, that's like the end game. You ask for their best email, and then, um, and then you, you let your autoresponder take care of the rest, right? Um, I just saw you one quick, you know, cool things that I do, right? When I connect with people, right, guys, I, I keep track of, um, of who I connect with. So at the top here, uh, at my on my um, you know browser bar here, I keep uh, under this folder FB methods. And what I do is, you know, this is a subfolder of bloggers, so people who um, who are bloggers that I've targeted, and you know these are their names, right? And I keep track of you know who they are, uh, their name, and and so I don't want to go back and do repeat you know business with them, right? Um, once you know whether they've added me as a friend or not. I, I take them outside of, of this, right? So these are the people that I'm still talking with, right? Um, and I've got here self-employed people as well that I'm talking with. And, you know, your list can go, you know, far and wide, right? And you can be talking, you can be having a lot of conversations with a lot of different people. But you need to keep track of it, otherwise you can be quite lost. Um, right, so... What I'm going to show you quickly right now, before we get into the conversation part and the conversion part, right? I'm going to show you one more uh, hidden gem that a lot of people overlook, right? Let me just go back to my profile. There's a reason why um, network marketers, um, back in the days when you, you know, when you sign up to a network marketing company, they tell you to create a list of family and friends and go talk to them. The reason being is they are warm, they, they're your warm markets. They, they're people that you can, um, they're most likely to join you in your business and people that you can contact immediately, have a conversation with immediately and share your business opportunity with immediately so you can make money immediately, right? So a lot of people tend to overlook their friends list on Facebook, the existing friends list that you've got, right? So before you know, before you go out there and start 
you know, contacting new friends, have a look at your friends list of all the people that you haven't talked with for a long time, right? And then hit them up. And reach out to them and say, hey, how you doing? You know, we haven't chat for a long time. Um, you know, what's up? You know what I mean? Start a conversation with them and, um, you know, and get them to, to, to eventually ask you what it is, what is it that you're doing right now, right? And then, um, then you can share with them your opportunity, right? Is that pretty cool, Brian? That's, that's real cool. So one of the things that I kind of want to share right now is that, you know, um, with this strategy, one of the ways that it works really, really well is if you also have, because, you know, you add them as a friend or you start up a conversation, naturally they're going to come check out your profile as well. They're going to dig in and see what you're all about. And so, you know, make sure that you've got good information up to date. You've got a good story that they can dig in and read and, and learn a lot about you. Um, and if you know anything about copywriting or anything like that, that's, that's a great place to put it because they'll read it. Um, and then in addition to that, you also, once you've already formed that relationship and, and you're in the process of building it and taking them um, towards, you know, ultimately checking out what they have and because, you know, they may have something that will help you out. Uh, and then them asking you what you do and you kind of share a little bit about what your business is. Uh, so one of the things that I like to do is kind of just share success stories. On I, I like to post success stories on my wall. Uh, when, whenever I was actively doing this, this strategy, when I was digging real deep into it, you know, there was a point in my life, I go on, basically I go on bursts, right? So uh, whenever I need to turn it on, I need to get, you know, I was like, okay, my blog is lacking or, you know, whatever paid marketing that I used to be doing a while back, back when I did that stuff, um, you know, it's kind of at a lull or, or something like that. I need to, I need some money now. I need to make this happen now. Um, I'll, I'll jump right in to Facebook and go into those, uh, those chats, just like, just like Tam was talking about. And, um, you know, basically hit those people up and then, and then go into the Facebook graph and, and find targeted leaders that I can build long-term relationships with. Basically, a, a mentor of mine told me that your goal in building that relationship just like you know, network marketing, they says contact your friends so you can get money immediately. Your goal in building that relationship is so that if 10 years down the line, let's say you publish a book, will that person want to buy that book? That's the aim. So your aim is not to sell them right away. It's to build a good relationship. And then naturally, openings will come up. Naturally, they'll be curious more about you, what you're doing, how you're having the successes that you're posting on your Facebook wall. So... That's just another another way that I get people to kind of come to me. So uh, it, actually, I can. You, know, you want me to go into one of my conversations that I had? I can show sure you guys live a, uh, a conversation that I had that turned into ultimately a new team member. Right. Yeah. So just um, before you go into that. Yeah. Go ahead. Let's just let's just finish off this strategy very quickly. Oh yeah. yeah I'm just yeah, gonna. I'm, just, I'm a little ADD. I'm just sometimes. running inside. I got too excited. I'm just running inside because it's so cold outside. Oh. <laughs> okay. So while, while we're doing that, I got one thing that I kind of want to want to show real quick. Um, All right. Can you see this screen right here? So I've got this friend. This is this is kind of what he was talking about avoiding by liking on their post first. When I confirm, oh, well, there it is. This right here. Do you know George outside of Facebook? I, I actually don't, but you know, I don't. I don't want to penalty him for trying to build his network, even though Facebook gives me the great opportunity to, you know, slam him in the face and put him in jail. Uh, I'm not going to do that. So, actually, I'll go ahead and say yes. I do know George because he's a cool guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I want to add, right? Um, you know, the uh, just just quickly, you know, like a lot of marketers, right? They're more likely to accept your friend request as well. Right, a lot of marketers they are yeah, always yeah, in the sure. mindset of I'm looking for prospects. So when people add them, they're like, "Oh, cool, here's a new prospect." So they're more likely to add you as well. So if you want a bunch of friends fast, uh, yeah, seek out marketers. They will they will add you. But just to finish off this strategy, so guys, I've I've liked a few of uh, Chris's um, um, posts. I've commented right now to be really really sure that this guy's not going to hit the no button, right? I'm just going to wait, right? I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to add him as a friend now. I'm going to wait for a response. I want to actually talk to him first through comments, uh, through his posts before, um, before I add him, right? So 
you know, be patient. There's no, there's no need um, to rush. So in the meantime, you know, I, I want to add him. Uh, that, can you do that? No, actually, you can't. Okay, you can do that in Firefox. But in the meantime, uh, how do you, I'm new to Chrome, guys. So bookmark, here we go. So I want to uh, bookmark this page right inside of folder bar. Yeah, okay. Yep. Mm. Oh, sorry. Very bad example, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm really a, a, a techno dummy, right, guys? I mean, I, I can do this. You all can do this. Uh, I'm just, okay, doing this right now. So I go bookmark this page um, in the bar. Uh, choose another folder. So we go down here uh, in the Facebook method. And then uh, I think he was under like dog training or something, right? Or the blog. Yeah, I yeah. think it was dog training. Yeah. yeah, that's right, dog training. So you guys want to do this, add this to their dog training. If he responds, um, you know, add him. Or you can even ask him in this chat, like, you know, do you want to connect? You know, ask him in here, like, do you want to connect? Let's, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, you know, I'm going to add you or, or you can add me or something like that, right? And um, that's the sure way to get uh, to build friends on Facebook without getting yourself put in in Facebook jail um, right so I'm gonna go right back to the hangout and Brian if you want to go into your you know your conversion strategy one of your conversations uh, then I can I can I, I can share mine afterwards as well Sure, sure. So, okay, so in addition to this, like I mentioned earlier, this is something that, you know, when I just want to turn it on, when I need a whole bunch of leads quickly, when I want somebody to put my business in front of because, you know, I haven't shown anyone my business today. Okay, this is this is kind of when I really, really turn this strategy on. And even if you do it just kind of steadily and at a small level, uh, over a long time, it's very, very powerful. In fact, my friend Chris made his first like $136,000 in seven months just doing that one thing. Uh, my other friend Frazier, uh, he's like a 19-year-old kid over in the UK. He, he made his first $10,000 doing the same thing, right? So this is a real powerful strategy, uh, but then when you add something else to it, when you add something to it like content creation, like blogging, like adding value to other people's lives and attracting people to you that are interested in what you're doing, uh, it can really change the conversation for the better. So one of the things that I do on my blog is not only do I provide training and teaching just just like this, and I, I give people value for free. Um, I also point them and say, "Hey, come come at me on Facebook, right?" That's something that I just have on my blog, uh, and I have it in my emails and in all of my marketing. I I urge people to connect with me on Facebook. In fact, if we're not friends uh, and you somehow stumble across this video and you're watching it, go we'll find me on Facebook. You can actually go to BrianCouch.com and that forwards directly to my Facebook. So. One of the things, let me, let me change the screen share. So I just want to share with you a quick um, conversation I had. Oh, so this was, this was one of them. You might be able to find like people who like selling on Etsy. Th those are people that are actively trying to make money uh, online through Etsy, right? So here's, this is one of, my, one of my teammates, Martha. She's really super awesome. Um, I'm not sure how long she had been carrying our conversation, but at 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, she told me that I am amazing. And I love your work. Uh, thank you for accepting my friend request. I look forward to getting to know you. May God continue to be a blessing in your life, Martha. So then I opened up the conversation. I started to talk to her for a little bit. She let me know what she does. She was she's an Amway. She has an Amway business. I'm like okay, that's that's awesome, my friend. I told him about Chris that that actual income testimony and, and story that I just uh, dropped on you guys now. The free Facebook strategies is exactly what we're teaching right now. Um, and then I shared him with uh, with her kind of a way to see his training over the same topic, right? And so, you know, it goes it goes for a while and when we build this relationship and she's super excited and, and she already likes it and and ultimately um, she she's done making excuses and she's ready to take action and she joined my team and she made her very, very first video ever, right? She had never made a video before and she was super nervous and I helped her, I don't, I'm not gonna go through the entire thing, but I helped her kind of overcome her nervousness um, and basically urged her to take action 
and just just put herself on video. Just get out there and put herself on video for the first time. And um, see, even though you know this was still a big breakthrough for her, even though this isn't something she's ever you know done before, uh, she told me that just doing it was like this massive weight off her shoulder, this big boulder that just kind of just kind of unloaded from her. She she felt great about it, and now she's actually in our. Uh, we have a 90 day challenge boot camp of people trying to uh, trying to get good at 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 uh, making videos on YouTube. The best way that you're going to get good at making videos is not by learning about how to make videos or all kinds of YouTube strategies. It's by doing it. It's by making tons and tons of videos. I mean, I was terrible on video. I would sweat tons and tons from my armpits. Uh, I don't have a shirt on now, so it's okay. But when I did. It would get all you know, gross in the pits and stuff, and I'd be real nervous, and, and you could hear it come across in my voice. There was no confidence there. I couldn't actually tell you guys about the success that I'm having, about you know why I'm able to expose my, my bare chest on, on one of my videos, uh, because you know I was just fired up about going to the pool and being full-time in my business. But the reason I was able to do that is because I decided I was going to do it, right? I made the decision. And you know, a decision is a very, very powerful thing. And the majority of my business, or majority of my videos, are made on this phone right here. I just take out my phone and I record myself. In fact, a lot of the people that I had, you know, join me early on in my business when I was still full time, I was driving to and from work. I would pull out my phone and I would record myself making a video, and then I would upload it directly from my phone. And I, I actually sponsored a whole bunch of people like that. So basically, what I'm saying is, you know, I used the time when I was just in my car by myself, driving to and from work. To create content that people are looking for to help people out because you know everyone has value people need to hear your story you need to bring it to the marketplace because that's the only thing the marketplace doesn't have is your story right your unique perspective you know seeing the world and and how everything works through through your eyes through your colored lenses and so uh, when you're able to do that consistently people like that and uh, you urge them to connect with you just like Martha did and now she's on my team she's super awesome uh, she's doing that that video the video challenge is like a 90 day you know video documentary my come up is what it is it's within our team we've got this you know 7,000 people or so and hundreds and hundreds of them are doing that and sharing those videos all the time and you know it's just it's just super awesome so you know the, that's the that's the way that I met her she reached out and connected with me so in addition to finding people on groups and and commenting on them and and, and you know engaging with them that way to get you to find them or to get them to contact you uh, you can also just create content by blogging and making videos daily and marketing those, getting them out there, promoting through some of the strategies that we teach. Uh, if you don't know how to do any of that right now, you know, you're completely clueless and, and you know that you want to make a bunch of money online and you want to have the freedom that we're having, um, then you can go ahead and just at any time click on the link below this and, and get started on our team and all of the training will show you way more than we've ever taught here uh, and you'll get be able to work personally with us, right? So, you know, that's, that's just a little bit about how to get more people to come to you, right? Attracting people to you instead of you, you know, making your list and friends and family and go and bothering them all, right? Go and, and consistently just contacting people and trying to set up meetings. And, you know, I did that for a while, but this is just so much more powerful way to do it. Right, Tam? Absolutely. Yeah. I just, you know, I, this, this has just been such a, such an awesome uh, eye-opening experience when I found out these these strategies and, and you know found found the way to get people coming to me instead of me necessarily going to them right like I know I know Richard you know Armand I, I got a couple a couple of people Trent uh, Lisa that that are out there that are watching this video and you know I didn't I didn't have to call them up and schedule an appointment and make them come watch it right they they found the marketing and so when you when you dig into marketing when you join our team and, and lock arms with us and and you know, start doing what we're doing, uh, it changes the whole conversation. It changes the entire structure of, of how you run your day-to-day -day business, and it removes a lot of the rejection and the failure that, uh, although you may be okay with, with some failure, you know, people telling you no, you're like, whatever, I'm, you know, I've made a decision, I'm going to do this, no matter how many people tell me no, that's good, that means that I just get to move on and go to the next person, right? Well, it removes a little bit more of that to where, it's more positive and, and your team the same way because maybe not everyone's as strong headed as you and can ignore all that rejection. Maybe they actually need to have, you know, a good balance of, of people that aren't interested versus people that are uh, and getting signups. And so, you know, that's just been 
you know, that's the reason I market the way I do. I, 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 you feel about the same way, Tam, or is this a, am I going off on my own little tangent? No, no, no. Like, um, <laughs> using Facebook, right? Uh, is, is that what you're saying? I was, I was no, 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 just... no. I'm, I'm saying basically marketing as opposed to um, pool marketing, attraction marketing, getting people to come to you just like yeah. you shared with commenting on that guy's post in the group, uh, just exactly. like I do through blogging and through videos and creating valuable stuff for people to enjoy, uh, getting right. people to come to me versus me always going to them, right? So whenever I need to turn it on and I need to find leaders, I want to talk to people that have teams, that Facebook graph method, by far the best way. I mean, you're not really going to find any way better ever of, of going out there and finding somebody who already has a team, already believes in network marketing, you know, already loves being an entrepreneur, and wants to do all of that, and you can, you can find them, you can meet them, and you can build a relationship. You can reach out to them. And they're networkers, right? They, they're business networkers. You can find people that, are, that, ha that like networking, right? And those are people, what, what is networking? They, they want to be your friend. They want to meet you. And if you reach out to them, they love it, right? But on yeah. the flip side, while you're doing that, it's also great to create content, create videos, create, you know, hangouts like this, do, do email marketing, do, do some type of marketing to where you're pulling people towards you at the same time, right? So, you know, it's kind of a balance, right? It, it's, uh, you know, you, you don't just solely do the Facebook thing, right, Tam? Or do you? Absolutely not. It's just okay. one of the strategy that I, you know, employ in my uh, marketing arsenal, um, you know, and Brian is absolutely right, and that's the reason why we're we're leveraging, you know, the internet. We're leveraging technology so that we can leverage our time. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. um, a lot of you guys watching this, you probably feel that hey, that Facebook strategy uh, looks almost like um, prospecting people at the mall, right? It is kind of like that. It is kind of like going to the mall. Facebook is the mall, and talking to people, right? But the difference is. You know, you're building quality relationships with with the targeting graph. You can actually nail down, you know, specific um, likes. You know, specific, you know, uh, people that you want to target, right? And yeah, so, so that, that's a huge difference. Yeah. So, so like, not not only can you just find people that are into MLM or that like Etsy selling or online business or blogging, but you know, you can also find people that like the Lakers. You can find people that like, you know. Um, uh, MMA, just just whatever your interests are, you can find people that are that are like you. One of the things yeah. that I learned through my readings and, and stuff is, and it's just common sense, but when you put it in this way, it kind of makes a lot more sense. Uh, is that people like people like themselves, right? People like other people that are just like them, and yeah. you know that's why people that are a little more closed-minded might be racist, right? That guy's not like me because his skin is different, right? But people like people that are like them. And so if you can find a list of people that are just like you that have the same interest, how hard is it to have a conversation about what you love, about a hobby of yours? How hard is it to spark up a conversation with somebody who has a team in a company, is a leader, and they love exactly what you love to do in your spare time? Right? That's not yeah. difficult at all. That's fun. These are, these are quality relationships that even if they don't decide to join your business, even if they do want to keep, you know, their team, you've still built a good relationship that maybe later down the line, if anything happens, because people do change teams all the time. People switch companies all the time. People want to add a second income stream, right? Maybe they're pretty happy with where they're at uh, with, with the money that's coming in, and they're not trying to switch and distract their whole team. But, you know, a lot of times they want to add a separate income stream. They want, they want to have multiple streams of income coming in. And if you're building this relationship with them based off of similar interests, based off of you know, you guys have an engaging conversation. You know, I through this, I've actually learned so much. I, I meet other people. One of these guys is telling me his story about, you know, what was going on with him, and and he was crippled for a while, and how he actually became a Scientologist for a little bit. And you know, if you're watching this video, I'm not gonna say your name because you didn't give me permission. But you know, he, he and his journey through Scientology, and, and you know, I'm not into that at all. But it was super interesting to have this conversation with this man. And even though ultimately we still don't work together. Uh, we have this relationship, and, and there's a, you know, there's an interesting spark. We, there, it's not just bland, like, I'm just asking questions to waiting for my chance to tell you, you, you stop talking about your thing because I want to talk about my thing, right? It's, it's not like that. With a Facebook graph search, you can find people that literally you would want to be friends with because they're interested in what you are. And in the same time, why not have them in your business? You know, maybe the, if they're that much like you, they probably want to make money too. Does right. that make sense? 
how many people like if you go to the mall, how many people can you strike a conversation with that you actually you know you actually know you know their interests or what they like you know what their passion is you don't right mm -hmm. with Facebook immediately it's all there everything's there you can strike up a conversation and you can move further and you're doing it at the comfort of your home but guys with you know Speaking of homes, let's let's just stop for a second and admire this view what's going on back there I've never seen inside your house Tan that is beautiful yeah, a little yeah. atrium thing you got going that on is, right? That's the yeah, real tree. Right. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to visit Australia, and that that is definitely a place I want to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty. It goes up right up to the ceiling at the top. Oh there. It's god, cool. that's um, awesome. That is a tree in your home. <laughs> For those of you guys <laughs> watching, uh, if you do see a tree behind me, you might feel like you want to click the link below right now. And uh, if you do, go ahead and do that. <laughs> But um, guys, you know, I just wanna, I just wanna say, you know, very quickly, you know, um, there is still a lot of people that are still, you know, stuck in that old school, you know, uh, traditional network marketing, you know, using those old school methods. I mean, it's time to leverage technology, leverage, uh, you know, the internet, leverage your time, you know, and 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 fast track your success. Because I mean, you can go to the mall. How many people can you talk to, right? If you just work at a superhuman level, and you you want to talk to everybody in that mall. I mean, if you if you strike up a really good conversation, that conversation would might last for like I don't know an hour or more. If you're you're like a a really good communicator, but that's already an hour of your time, and you don't know what the conversion might be. You don't even know if you know they're gonna give you their number. Or not, and you don't even know if you know uh, they're gonna want to join your business or not, right? With Facebook, though, you know you connect with them. Um, you know you can add them in the future. They jump on your friends list. They get to see um, the activities that you do on Facebook, and eventually, you know they, you know you can you can keep talking through Facebook, and eventually they might, um, you know they might see the things you do, and they might like it, and they might ask you more about it, right? Um, the 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 the, the most important thing about um, conversion that I've learned, right, guys, is communication, right? Communication. It's funny because when I when I started, um, you know, uh, network marketing like uh, five years ago, right? I'm not a network marketer anymore, um, but I, I came online to leverage the internet so that I can, you know, fast track my success. And through this journey, I I, I I fell in love with internet marketing. Fell in love with lead generation, and you know all the you know capturing leads, um, creating traffic, and converting them, and stuff like that. I fell in love with all of that, right? But you know the funny thing, Brian, I went full circle because right now um, a lot of the people that I'm converting into my business are actually um, people that I'm talking to face to face, right? And that's going to tell you guys something because when you talk to people face to face, right? Um, it's just the, the the level of trust that they have for you is is a lot higher because they can hear you, they can see and touch you, they can, um, you know, they can, uh, you know, they, they can smell, they can they can see your body language. They just they just you know, it just the conversion can be a lot higher. Um, and the next thing to that is conversation through like Facebook or through videos, right? And each one of these um, strategy. Face to face, using Facebook, using blog, um, using emails—they all require different sets of skills, right? But it all comes down to communication. Uh, with that being said, Brian, um, are you ready to go into the um, the, the the conversations that uh, you know? One of the conversations that I've had. So, and we really want to you know dig down and, and see see what it's about and, and you know how it turned out and stuff. Dude, I, I've been itching for a while. I, I want you to put your put your screen on screen share right now, and sure. uh, you know, show me show me some of these successful conversations that you've had. Some some of how it's it's led to yours. See, because mine mine was a little bit different, right? The one that I shared was I I I had had somebody add me and attract me, right? I, that wasn't somebody that I reached out to specifically, although I could have shared some of those as well. But that the one that I wanted to share was you know to add the fact that. When you're doing some marketing, some specific other type of marketing that works as well. So yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Jump, jump right into it. I'll shut the hell up and learn a bunch from you. Awesome. So a lot of the people that are watching right now, I hope 
you know, um, you don't mind the time. We're going quite past the hour, but um, I really want to, you know, open this conversation up and really look at, you know, what it is that we talked about and speak about the psychology behind that, right? This is one of the things that I see a lot of people uh, not sharing, right? They talk about, uh, they share quick snippets of things and, and that's it, right? But I really want to go dig deep into it. And it might take, you know, another 10 minutes or maybe longer, but, you know, hopefully uh, the, the, the aim here is trying to help you guys get an aha, right, towards the end. So I hope, um, you know, you can hang in there. And uh, at the end of this video, we're going to announce something very uh, awesome for a lot of the people that are going to be watching and uh, listening in. So it's going to be really cool. But just hang in there, guys. I want to do this right now. And awesome. Awesome. You, you got, right. me, got me ready. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So I'm just going to go into this right now. Um, I'm going to put my thing on full screen so I can see this good. I'm going to zoom right in. Can you see that? Is that better? Is that good? Uh, a little bit. Zoom in a little more. Awesome. Can you, can you see it? The text and all that? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I'm just going to zoom out and scroll right to the top first. All right. So here's the little trick that I did, right? Um, so the idea is to talk to people and strike up a conversation and eventually lead them to, you know, hearing about your opportunity, right? Um, here's a friend that I connected, and she actually was, uh, she, you know, uh, was on my friend's list for quite a long time. Uh, she's been on there for uh, several years. Uh, she's actually, a, you know, back in the days when I was doing all sorts of marketing, you know, I had a bunch of people. And a lot of these people, I don't even, um, I don't even talk to, but they're there in my list, right? So I figured, you know, Facebook's being very tough with, you know, Facebook jail and stuff like that. So I had to figure out another way. So I went to my list and I started to talk to people. And what happened was this conversation was uh, this conversation was before Chicago, right? Um, and this was like uh, a couple of months ago, right? And um, you know, so I saw I went to this person's profile. I looked at you know their profile, the contents that they were sharing. Um, she she have a blog. She was into marketing. She's got a lot of mutual friends with me, right? So one other thing that I did was. You know, I, I, I strike a conversation with her. I was like, hey, you know, how are you doing? And uh, she's like, good, what's up? You know, um, and, and guys, sometimes when you strike a conversation with someone and write something like, hi, how are you? Um, just give it some time. Wait, you know, until they, they uh, respond and then carry it, you know, the conversation on. But take your time. This process should be, uh, should be should be a slow process, right? Really dig down, really get into their mind, really get to know what they're about, and like I said before, really look to connect uh, and have uh, quality friendships with them, right? So what I, what I did here, this is my sneaky trick, because and I'm looking for a way to bring up and power network uh, with this person. So and I know that uh, Chicago was coming up, and so I took the direction of you know saying, hey, are you going to Chicago, right? Uh, like and she's like Chicago, what for, All right? And I was like, uh, for the Get Money event. You don't know? And she's like, apparently not, right? And uh, the, no, so and then uh, and I was like, yeah, well, we have so many mutual friends. I assume that you know you were in the Power Network, and you see, I just brought in a Power Network right there. And uh, I thought you were going to Chicago. Sorry, you know. And she's like, no, I don't travel much these days. Anyway, uh, since I have an eight months son, plus I'm not in EN. That's really cool to know, right? So I was like, okay, cool. And and then she asked me further, um, do you solely promote EN or do you use it to promote something else, right? And this is really cool. Another thing about converting uh, prospects, right, is you have to find the right prospects at the right time you know, uh, in their right uh, in their right mind or, or, or time and in their life that they're ready to uh, take, you know, on another business or move from one business to another. So I've, I found somebody here that 
was was ready to 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 take action into something. So I was I was pretty lucky, right? But it takes it takes talking to a lot of people to find one person like this, right? So you just have to keep striking up conversations after conversation until you um, until you um, you know until you find find uh, one person that's at the right time at the right place and you plug them in, right? So um, my strategy here is to really take it slowly. And so I'm just having a good conversation. She's asking me, you know, uh, do you promote it solely or do you use it to promote something else? And I'm like, Ian is my primary. I use it to promote success, uh, mindset, and lifestyle. Are you open to Ian? Right? And she's like, yeah, definitely. Right? Uh, so that's cool. If she said no, uh, I would question her, like, you know, why? Right? And she would give me some objections. So the idea here next is to find out. Uh, where they're at, why do they have objections, and what are those objections? So if she said no, I would be like, why? How come? You know, and then she'll give me some reasons, or there could be objections, right? And here she said, uh, yeah, definitely. I thought about joining many times, but I have several objections, right? Things to, uh, that stop me from joining. And that was really cool because I was like, what are your objections, right? And uh, when people give you objections, guys, just be smiling because when 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 you know when people give you objections, right? Whatever it is, and when you can um, give them an, an answer, when you solve those objections, um, you know they've got no other reasons to not join your business, right? So that's a really cool, you know, sell sales, you know, one hundred and one, um, you know, for salesmen. We always love to hear what people's objections are. If they have objections, um, that's cool. We can lead them to buy, right? Um, so I've got here, you know, the the this is, this is her saying, you know, the first one is that with so many people promoting EM, and I've spoken with so many, uh, I can't see a difference between one person or another. Uh, so in one sense, it doesn't make sense to pick one person over another, and in another sense, what would differentiate me from anyone else? Right, that's her first objection. The second one is, from what I understand, you need to purchase any products you like to promote. As long as a long-time affiliate, I have issues with that. I understand the model, but it irritates me to have to buy something in order to sell it. There are many products on the web I can sell as an affiliate without any purchase. Cool, cool. And I was like, all right, I understand your objections. Let me try and ease your pain. Right, and she's like, go for it. Right, and you know, I took time to write this long answer, and in the meantime, she posted, you know, are you easing my pain by keeping silent? LOL. Right, <laughs> <laughs> but that was really cool. And here, to your first objection, I wrote, uh, you know, so her first objection was, you know, so many people promoting EN. What is the difference between them? Right. So the, and this is my answer, and you guys can take notes because you know you might run into these objections yourself, right? And I said, well, the difference is this: okay, I can market as much as I want, right? David Wood, Lawrence Tam can promote as much as they want, but they can never reach the kind of people you and I can, right? I don't care how much marketing they do or what technique they use, they can never teach the kind of people you and I can teach, right? This is due to age, gender, location, interest, influence, right? So for example, I feel attracted to some leaders and some I repel from. Why? Usually because of personality. I also look for a leader who listens and care for my success to, to pay me some attention and answer my questions, not some arrogant, you know, P-R-I-C-K, right? Um, <laughs> excuse my French. So, you know, in reference to it being too many people promoting EN, here's the thing. Amway have over 10 million reps worldwide, okay? One of their leader alone have sponsored over a million reps, right? Wow. In, in a world of 7 billion people, EN only have 100,000 members. Not all are active. In New York alone, and I give her a real life example, so in her mind, she can picture it. In New York alone, there are, over, there are about 8 million people. So as you can see, it is not saturated, right? So her, you know, so immediately like, 
her, her, her first two objections are already like smashed and I'll give her good reasons. Like you look at New York City, it's got over 8 million people, right? And it's only one city in the whole world. So how can one opportunity of 100,000 people be saturated, right? The bottom line is, Ian is still a baby right now. There's a huge market out there and there are people out there that you can reach that no other people can. An example would be stay-at-home moms because she's a stay-at-home mom, right? And your second objection is that uh, why do you have to own the product in order to promote it, right? So this is a common uh, objection as well. A lot of people don't like the fact that they have to buy the product to promote it. They rather use ClickBank. You can sign up without paying any money and you can start promoting a product, right? Well, this is my answer. Well, let, let me ask you, how can you promote something you know nothing about? You haven't used the product, you haven't tested it out, so how are you supposed to tell people your true, honest opinion about it? You would be simply lying if you did promote it, true? Plus, with the compensation plan requiring you to own the product in order to receive commissions, this helps upsell the people you get into Empower. So in fact, this is playing in your favor. Everyone you bring in is going to want to upgrade in order to receive the commission from those products. When they do, you make a commission. This is psychology stuff that affects, that helps you make a ton of money, right? So did everyone get that? Uh, I, I got it. That's pretty cool. So, awesome. yeah. So he, here's a response, you know, good answer on the first one, reading your second now, and yes, I agree there. Okay, so let's, let's dig deeper. So what happens now? So she, so, you know, so she's, we, uh, I've contacted her, I brought up Ian, and she happened to be interested, but she has some objections, she gave me some objections, and I've actually smashed those, right? So what's going to happen here? Okay, how do you lead her now into joining Ian, right? Let's, let's look deeper. So herein lies my original objection, which is this. So many people have approached me about EM. So many good friends. Too many choices makes none. And if everyone's goal is for me to buy as many products as possible, well, then why would they give anything extra for themselves? Right? So here's my answer. So obviously... Obviously, she still has some more objections, right? She's still, she's still in that mind of, um, of you know, I'm not, you know, she's still looking for reasons to why she doesn't want to join, right? I don't know if whether she's leading me on or she just have these real objections, right? But the coolest thing is this: um, when you're, when you're, when you're um, Talking, have you know, when you're talking to someone, having a conversation with them and leading them to a sale, right? The time is crucial. Like you know, it usually takes a, a long time. Like you know, if you if you talk to someone um, under like ten minutes, they're not going to join your business. I mean, uh, you know, no, 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 no one does that. And so they have a ton of objections, and also the time, the time you got to allow them you know, to further make more uh, smarter decisions. So here it is, like, um, you know, of course, at this stage, I've smashed her objections, but she still has a ton of stuff in her mind still. And plus, she, that time frame, that cooling period, you know, that, that time needs to sort of pass before she actually makes a decision, right? So keep in your mind about time. The longer you talk to someone, the more it is that they are compelled to take action with you uh, later, and this is sales 101 for car salesmen, right? They try to keep you in the uh, in the, the store for as long as they can, right? They give you test mm -hmm. drive after test drive after test drive, so that you feel really guilty uh, because when leaving, because uh, without a purchase, because you've you know wasted so much of their time. And this is similar things. And so the more questions you have for me, great. You know, I, I love it because. You know, time is going to get me a sale. Right, guys? How do you get that? Um, so here's my answer. You know, that uh, is for you to decide. Uh, you have the luxury here in choosing the right person to work with. Uh, of course you wouldn't, um, uh, of course you wouldn't fall for their agenda, which is for you to buy and make money uh, 
which is for you to buy, make money from you, uh, to buy from Harana. Of course, you have your agenda. I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so you should have your. Okay, so obviously, I'm trying to say here is that yeah, you have the luxury to, to choose the right person to work with, right? You wouldn't want to fall for their agenda, right? You should have your own agenda, and you should pick someone who's going to help you be more successful and grow while you're building your business. Does that make sense? Right. So basically she's saying, you know, there's so many people out there, you know, who do I choose, you know? And uh, basically I'm telling you, you know, choose the one that's uh, have your own agenda, choose the one that fits you, you know, what it is that, what is it that you want? Someone who uh, care for you, someone who's going to pay more attention to you. What, what is it that, you know, who's your ideal sponsor? Look for that person. And so her response is, you know, of course. So I guess the next question is, what do you, Tam Dang, uh, do to help people who join you in the end? Right. So this is really cool. Um, now she's turning, you know, the uh, spotlight back onto me, right? Because I've I've been a servant up until this point. I've I've been, uh, you know, I've been answering all of the questions up until this point. And now, now, and she's, you know. Um, Let's just say she's she's used up a, few, a lot of my time, and now she wants us. She's compelled to you know to now join my business. She can't just say, "Okay, look, I'll talk to you later and exit," because that'd be rude. So now she maybe she's leading me on here as well, but she's turned the conversation back on to me. Right, she's still looking for a way out, as you can see. She's looking for a way out. But when you get into a conversation with someone, right, and if you keep just being the servant, keep giving them good answers, be polite. Right. Um, yeah, they're just gonna compelled to 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 keep talking to you and and join your business. So, this is my answer. So the difference between me and someone like David Wood, in which you can join him if you wish, uh, is that I have the time to answer your questions, help you out as we progress. Most of the top leaders will only leave uh, you inside the system, charge you for their time. But basically, it all comes down to how you feel about a person. You might just join me because you enjoy our convo and you like me. So that's a little bit of a hypnotic you know, suggestion right there. But on the business side, I am part of, a, part of Team Tech Massive Action. I learned directly from Lawrence Tan, which I paid over you know, 3,000 months, uh, 3,000 K for, and I don't mind sharing uh, with you what works. How about, uh, how about that? Would you go all in with me? So I asked her a question. So would you go all in with me, right? Um, and she's like, well, tell me more. Tell me about you know the 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 the, the money specific, how much at front end and, and the products and etc etc etc. Okay, so cool. Um, so here and now she's so she's interested in the products. Um, she might be still leading me on, guys, right? Um, mm -hmm. But she's compelled to. She can't run away the, from the conversations now because I'm giving her all the answers she needs, right? She can't run away now. Um, so my best advice is to position yourself uh, so that you can earn the maximum income uh, possible and that is to go all in. By owning all the products, I think the cost to go all in is close to 5k. Now normally when I talk to people, I put um, the money up front, right? Because guys, I'm looking for serious people who are going to work with me, right? Uh, so I don't want to say, hey, look, you can join at the $25 level. That's not my goal. My goal is to find people who are not tire kickers, who are going to come in at the highest level, at 5K, no less, right? So that, so that I, you know, I'm not wasting their time and I'm not wasting my time. I will help them make 10K per month, right? But only if they invest that amount of money. It tells me that they're, they're in it, uh, you know, uh, financially, spiritually, mentally, right? And then I can help them. Okay, so uh, a lot of you guys watching, you might be inside of Empower right now. Um, you know, do that. You know, when you find people and talk to them, encourage them to go all in. And obviously, if you're not all in at the moment, you can't do that. So I encourage you all to go all in. For those people that are watching, go all in. All right, hit the link below anytime during this video and go all in. Let us know that you're serious. Lock arms with me and Brian, and we're going to show you how to make 10K per month, right? We've got a lot more to share. Um, this is so, just one of the strategy, but um, if I can, Brian, I, you cool? 
Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could put my two cents in on what you said right there, right. Um, there's a, there's another sales strategy that you actually use there that you didn't quite touch on. Um, but but talking about the 5K up front, it's kind of a I've heard people call this shooting for the moon, right? So it's when you say, hey, it's it's this price. So of course you're definitely looking for people who are serious about their business, people who understand simple math that that if they want to make ten thousand a month. They're not going to do it by making $25 sales. Even though they're getting 100% commissions on $25 sales, they're not going to do it with, you know, what, what is that? That's, that's, tons of, that's more sales than our number one producer right now who's made, you know, several million. So uh, the, 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 they understand that they need to go all in, but you did the shooting, shooting for the moon. So that's basically you're asking for everything up front. You're asking for the biggest, the biggest part up front, and then... If if they're to if they're to go for it, if they're really serious, if they if they take massive action and decide that this is what they want, this is the you know they want to build generational wealth, they want to build a, a freedom business and 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 have the lifestyle that you have, they'll go for it. If not, though, what you did by starting out with the large number is you made the any of the smaller number sales much much easier. So. Um, yeah. Uh, they did. They did a couple of studies on this. I, I like to read a lot of, I, I, you know, something about just the sales process and the psychology of it all. Like we're going through here, this just this stuff kind of excites me. And you know, I like to read it and learn about it all. And one of the things, you know, people people take. Let's see. So how how is the best way to phrase this? Um, when when you're talking with somebody, the so the the case study was this. Okay, they they had people knock on doors asking for or not 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 knock on doors. They went to a group of, that was a different one. They went to a group of people who are all in this, um, it was like a YMCA, just kind of a community event thing. And they said like, hey, to half of them, they said, hey, we want you to, uh, you know, supervise the kids and take them on this like field trip, this swimming field trip. And they, they checked out the percentages or whatever. And, and it was kind of, kind of a small turnout. Most people didn't want to like waste an entire Saturday uh, watching a whole bunch of kids and, and help supervise this field trip. Well, then they went back to the other half and they switched it up and they said, hey, you know, we're doing this awesome mission trip. We're, we're taking some of the kids and we're going over to Africa and we're going to help some of these kids and teach them some things. And would you like to go on this mission trip to help them learn for, for three weeks? And, you know, this is something they were actually doing, right? You, you'll tell, help them teach. We're going to cover your food and your flight and your travel and, and everything is on us, right? And you'll just go there and spend your time with them and, and help these unfortunate kids. And then, of course, most of the people are like, "Whoa, I have an entire life. That's a big chunk to be doing that. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want to go for that." You know, they'll say no, right? And then they back into this. They well, okay, that's fine. Um, but would you at least like to, uh, you know, take take the the YMCA kids, take them to the pool on the weekend and, and supervise them? And then the the difference was 60, 60, 600 something, sixty percent higher, right? So. It was a vast difference, like way more than five times as many people had agreed to it because they had already said no to the, the big offer, right, the go to Africa and watch these kids. And so there was a concession, right? They said, well, no, not that, but okay, sure, sure, I'll do the smaller thing. So that, that's just kind of a, a little bit. Of, I learned that from a book that Lawrence gave me, uh, and I already finished it. I don't know where it's at, but it's called The, the Psychology of Influence um, by... Mm, the name is escaping me. I've been reading a different book now, so I'll, I'll find that. But I'll, <laughs> sorry, I just had to had to share that little bit with y'all. Maybe I can find awesome. that book in a second. But I'll pass it back to you, Tam, to, to continue going on with your with your story. Awesome. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear what that uh, the title of that, what that book is. Uh, I'm an avid reader myself, and you know, guys, if you're not reading, uh, start picking up books to read. And uh, one, one of the things that I love to read right now is marketing and sales because I really want to develop into a real effective marketer. And uh, one of the things I learned going through this journey is that, um, you know, um, you can, depending on where your focus is, if your focus is to grow as a person, then you can do personal development, read self-help books, it's great. But if your focus is to make money, you know, uh, become a better marketer, pick up marketing books, start reading those, start reading sales copies, start reading, you know, uh, start looking at capture pages, watch sales videos and see how they do it and, and model them, right? I hope you guys are learning a lot today. Um, uh, I don't know if we're halfway through or not. I can't see the bottom of this page, but um, I, I, you know, for me, it's, it's a refreshment as well. And by going through each uh, one of these, you know, um, comments 
you know, I'm actually learning new things as well. I'm refreshing my memory with stuff. So I hope that you know you guys can just hang in there and uh, and hope you guys enjoying this. If you do enjoy what you're watching right now. Uh, go to the comment box below and just place in a comment and let us know that you know we're providing great stuff because you know guys I can breeze through this but I think it's important that maybe we dig in and then so you can actually uh, you can actually see the psychology behind this I think that's important right um, is that is that are you cool with that Brian oh Okay, so you hey, just jumped hey. off. <laughs> but, so, sorry. Okay, I didn't. I didn't know if you missed, uh, you know, uh, what I just said. But I was just saying, you know, um, oh, there's my shirtless buddy again. My <laughs> <laughs> shirtless buddy. <laughs> uh, so here's the book. I found it. It's uh, "Influence: The Psychology of Persuasion" by Robert right. Cialdini. Awesome, awesome book. Uh, definitely, he goes through basically a, a couple of core principles of, of influence, which are great for marketing, great for any sort of sales professional, um, and, and just in general in life. If you want a better response from your conversations, um, these are some of just good good principles to to lie on. So, cool. awesome book I recommend. You can just go to Amazon, Amazon Prime. Awesome stuff. Awesome. Okay, so were you gonna finish going through that 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 list, or was yep, that? Right. I I don't know where you dropped off, but I was just saying, you know. It's oh, just barely, that. just a second ago, I was out for ten seconds. Okay, so I, I was just saying, you know, it's important we can we can breeze through this conversation, but it's important. I think we, you know, we 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 you know we we um, dig into each of you know the, the 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 comments here, and so we can learn the the psychology behind this, and it's a good refreshment for me as well. So. Um, you know, do, 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 you think, do you think that's that's a good idea to just keep going as we have been until you know uh, we complete the whole conversation, Brian? Um, I'm I I would kind of you know you got me on the edge of the seat. I want to I want to see what happens. I want to see when oh. she decides to join. Okay. All right. So that's 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 cool. You know. Um, so I hope everybody watching is um, you know getting massive value out of this and. You know, we would appreciate it if you go to the comments and uh, you know place a um, a comment in there, right? Let us know, you know, um, l let us know your your appreciation. You know, uh, it, it'd be good because it'll keep us going. Uh, all right, so um, so we're at the part where she's now um, okay. So we're at the part now. She's asking more about the products. Now, guys, um, there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, you, have you noticed so far that I haven't said, you know, what's your best email, right? And grab her email and throw her email into my, um, you know, capture page so that my autoresponder can talk to her, right? I haven't done that. I am actually taking time to answer her questions about the products, right, personally. And um, I think uh, that by doing that, you get a higher conversion rate, right? If you now at this point... Uh, take her emails and you throw that into your autoresponder, the conversion might be a little different. But, it, it, you know, she might come back and she might still ask these questions in the future, right? Uh, I don't know, but with this, with this technique, I had a lot of time, so I thought I'm just going to answer all her questions, you know, and, uh, and, and, and allow her to feel really guilty by using up a lot of my time, right? This is my strategy, right? So, so she's asking me about the products. Um, you know, um, so like I said, you know, uh, we were talking about, you know, um, positioning her, getting her to, uh, uh, me telling her up front, you know, you, you, I want you to invest 5K with me, go all in. And uh, Brian touched on some of the reasons why you should go all in inside of Empower. But, from, you know, and, and there's a lot of reasons why we, uh, I might just touch on some of that right now. So, the reason you want to spend 5K um, in this opportunity is, guys, I've been online since 2009. And what happened was, you know, I, I went from courses to courses, products to products. And my mentality was this. I'll, I'll spend the minimum I can just to get inside the system, just to see what it's like, to try it out, to see if it'll work. And then I will invest more money, 
right? But that is, a, uh, you know, a, 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 that is the mentality that is setting you up for failure immediately, right? What happened was when I found Empower Network, I was like, this is it. This opportunity is it. For a lot of you guys who, um, you know, uh, are going to hit the link below uh, and go and watch the full presentation, you might feel the same. You might watch it and you might feel that, that this is it for you. And my advice for you is throw down 5K, right? Because once you put down 5K, you know, this is it. There's nothing, you, you're going to get angry because you've just invested 5K and you want to get this money back, right? And then you're going to treat it more seriously. You're going to treat it more of a business than just a vehicle that you're going to tap into and learn and look around, right? So that's sort of the mentality that uh, if you invest 5K, you're going to have, okay? So that's what I've done. And hence, I'm, you know, getting a lot of results because every day I wake up, I'm like, oh, crap, I spent you know, I spent 5K into this opportunity, I have to work hard to get that money back, right? Um, so let's, let's move on here, okay. Um, so I've answered her, her question about the products. Um, and I've said, you know, not everybody can afford this to begin with. It's okay to set the goals to work towards it, but you definitely want to go in at the highest level uh, you could possibly uh, so that you know, you can get the best uh, from your ROI for your marketing efforts, right? And she's like, okay, that's good to know. Uh, so let's say I have $1,000 to $2,000 to start with, right? Where does that take me, assuming I need some cash to promote, right? And, uh, and I said, well, that's perfect. You know, you can purchase the 15K formula. And inside the 15K formula, they break down so many different free and paid strategies you can implement immediately, right? So how do you pr mostly promote? Now, she's asking me for about my strategy, right? And basically, guys, just answer the best you can. My purpose right now is not to lead her into a trap, but really to be a friend. And, and I'm honestly answer answering her questions honestly, right? There's nothing to hide because I really believe... A power network is a, you know, it's a it's a great company. It's a beautiful place to be. You know, um, a power network helps so many people make money, and I truly believe that you know when she get in, she's gonna make a lot of money too, right? Um, and I'm gonna help her do it. So this process, I'm not actually looking for anything. I'm just really providing, um, you know, uh, answers, you know, uh, that are direct to her questions. So I'm not like trying to open loop or lead her into anything, right? Um, okay, so she asked me, you know, how do you mostly promote? Uh, my, my answer is, uh, I would suggest to use a small budget, like $20 to $50 to start your, mar your paid marketing promotion and see what works, then scale it up. Uh, but to begin with, I will, co I will connect up with free very effective Facebook. Uh, okay, so uh, what I'm trying to say there is uh, to begin with, I will connect her uh, up with some free effective marketing Facebook strategy where she can produce, you know, you know 30, 300 to 500 quarterly leads per month. So I'm going to plug her into a strategy where, you know, the Facebook training that she can uh, do right now for free, right? Um, just talking to good people like you on Facebook, you know, uh, suggest to use a small budget like $20 to um, and, and I also say I, I also have magazine ads running and solo ads running uh, which is all inside the 15k formula but if you join with me I'll share with you my pr perspective on these strategies and how I do them exactly and uh, her response I'll be honest with you here's what I want to be able to do I want to be able to hop in set up a campaign either FB or Bing, and start getting people in. I don't, I don't mind talking to people after they've joined me, uh, but I definitely don't want to go about it uh, by talking to people upfront like you're doing. Yeah, I don't mind doing solos. All right, she's just saying, you know, she doesn't want to do the FB methods. That's cool, right? Because people have, uh, different people have different preferences. All right, so I'm like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm talking because uh, I want to brush up my communication skills and my skills with connecting people. Uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, uh, a, 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 a defense I put up there. That's really funny. 
now that I'm looking at that, I'm like, oh, cool, All right? So I'm like, I'm like putting up a defense, uh, giving her an excuse right now, and uh, and her response is, and I've got to be able to recoup whatever investment I make inside of two months or less. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with talking to people, and it's definitely a good style for you because here I am talking to you, right? That's really cool to say. Um, okay, so what you just said above is exactly how we do it in Empower. We also have co-op uh, you can participate in as well. Nice. I like your attitude. Let's get you started and get, ex get exposed get you exposed to the 15K formula. Please join me now, and I gift you with a ticket to Chicago coming this 19th April. I want to meet you. This is my link to join. My goal is to help 10 people make 10K per month in the next 90 days. You might be the person I'm looking for. Right. So, guys, um, this last part here is really me going straight to the point. Right. Uh, I've learned about her. Um, I've, I've given her objections. I've learned about, you know, where she's at, what she really want to do, how she want to proceed forward with the marketing strategy. So she seems like a real good fit right now. And I'm... I'm holding my posture, right? I am, I, I, I'm not, I'm not um, you know, that needy guy that's looking for a sale. I'm saying, you know, uh, this is what I want to do. I'm, and and I, I put in here a, a gift, you know, a ticket to Chicago um, to, to entice her to take action with me. So that's pretty cool. A lot of you guys um, might have bonuses or, or something that you can throw in uh, to give people so that they, you know, take action with you, go ahead and do that. Bonuses are always great, okay? A lot of the top leaders are making a lot of money because they provide great bonuses, right? And uh, and obviously, at the bottom here, I talked about my goal, my vision. It's really cool to say this. You know, my goal is to help 10 people make 10K per month in the next 90 days. People join you and your business not because of where you're at, but where you're going and what you're going to do for them, right? So it's very important you... You put that in there somewhere. You let them know what your vision is, what your goal is. Tell them where you're going, right? And then if they like it, they're going to hang on to your cape. Um, and I bounce back at her. Like, you might be the right person that I'm looking for, right? And now this, this you know, in, in psychology terms, she's thinking now she's going to try and prove herself to me, right? That, yeah, I am the right person, right? Um, so here the conversation continues. So what's the price of the 15K formula and what's below that? Um, so I'm just answering her straight. There's nothing to hide. 1K. Let's continue. And this is her, um, this is her um, uh, uh, sort of, uh, we, we talk until like late, pretty late. And uh, I mean, it's, it says here 4 p.m., but that's my time. So and her time is pretty late. And, uh, you know, she's about to jump off here. So she's like, let's continue the conversation on Monday. My wife just got home and I'm uh, going to spend some time with her. Here's my email. Shoot me an email with that link and some more details. Um, I'm going away for the weekend, but I will be back Monday. Are you flying in from AU, by the way? Now, a lot of people might look at this message and say, this is her, uh, her, her excuse to exit the conversation. Right, but the thing is this: if you talk to people, and a lot of people have integrity, right? They're gonna they're gonna come back uh, because what she's done here. Um, if you really wanted to get away from this conversation, she'd be like, uh, you know, my wife just got home, and I'm going to spend some time with her. Uh, I'll get back to you later, or something like that, right? Later, instead of saying Monday. By saying Monday, she's actually locked in a commitment with me, right? So wow, if she doesn't. Wow. If she doesn't turn up Monday, it could be this could be her mistake as well. But if she doesn't turn up Monday, I'm gonna be like, hey, what's going on here, right? But really, it doesn't really matter if she turns up on Monday or not. But for her, right, it's she has to turn up on Monday because she's thinking, you know, if I don't turn up, this guy's gonna like, you know, think stuff of me, right? So and people are like that. They they're afraid of what other people think about them. Um, so she, she's actually locked herself into a commitment. That she's going to come back. So I looked at this email and I'm like, cool. All right, I'm going to do exactly what she asked to send her an email, give her more information, and I'm going to meet her on Monday. I'm I'm going to make sure I'm there, right? And so I gave her some time. Um, 
if she was going to come back and ask me any more questions, I'm willing to just keep answering. Um, so here she goes. She's checking my, you know, profile and stuff. Ah, I see. You know, you did. Uh, I see what you did with that kickboxing. Did nice. Uh, you know, testing it out now, using it. Anyway, so at this point, the conversation is, is over. Um, she actually has taken action. We've we've moved this conversation from Facebook to now email, and she, she you know, obviously by Monday coming, she has already signed up. She's already signed up by then, Brian. Um, gotcha. Yeah, I see April 15th. That's Monday. Yeah. And now she's, she's into looking into what your marketing is and what you're doing. Oh, right. man, that designer. That thing was looking big. <laughs> <laughs> so she actually, she actually went all in with me. Uh, let's, let's look at this last message. Uh, let's, oh, okay, I'm still on screen share. Cool, cool. So this last message here, um, you know, um, so you know we're talking about going to Chicago. So obviously through the emails, she's already purchased the tickets for Chicago. I'm I'm, I'm trying to get her to come, and uh, you purchased your ticket, right? I, I purchased it for her because that's what I I, I offered to. Okay. Right. And the thousand dollar commission it made sense to buy her ticket. Pardon? I said you got the thousand dollar commission. It made sense to buy her ticket. You you fulfilled your end of the bargain. She actually didn't stop at the one thousand dollar level. She actually went all in, and awesome, so awesome. yeah. So I made you know forty six hundred in that day. Yes, badass, forty six hundred dollar day from a Facebook <laughs> conversation. So that's you know you found found somebody who you connected with, and and had a, had that man. There's so much value in that. What we shared there. You know, this is we're going on two hours right now. So you know, if you're still on this, you're still watching. If you're still on the fence, definitely. I mean, just just join us. It's only twenty five bucks. Just click on that link directly below. Um, I, this is this is now going to be a member training. So this is kind of a taste of what our what our members training is. Um, this is kind of the stuff that we keep behind the scenes. We just put up a little twenty five dollar paywall, and uh, and then you can have this, right? right. So if you want to make that decision? Join us now. Click click on that link. But you know. Uh, I, I think you know we, we need to get some more people in here doing this because this is so powerful. I, I see what you did there, and you know, that's that's really awesome. I, you kind of inspired me. I might go go out there and do a little bit more of this Facebook connecting with people because sometimes sometimes it's kind of fun, right? Especially you know if you're just looking for people who have similar interests as you. It's like talking talking to somebody who likes what you like. That's you know that's awesome. And then if it leads to a forty six hundred dollar day, icing on the cake, right? If yeah. you can help her out, get her to Chicago. I mean, if she went to that event, did she end up making it to the event? She did. She was actually at the awesome. event. That was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's real cool. Yeah. So I'm sure she learned tons and tons there and is ready to go on and, and have the success that she wants. Two months, right? That's what she's aiming for. Cool, so cool. Yeah, really actually cool. she's I'm so she's, happy you shared that with us. Yeah. I hope I hope that provided some uh, value. And you know, guys, um the guys that are still watching to this um time right now. Right. Um, we've actually put together a, a, a bonus, a huge one, for those of you guys who are watching. And this is this is our uh, um, you know enticement for you to take action right now, because uh, we believe in you more than you know you believe in yourself. This business is possible for anybody. Right. Um, you need some leadership, obviously. You need to be following the right people who are uh, actually making money, and they can show you how to do it. Which you know we've proven. That we can do that, uh, but what we put together uh, is is this awesome bonus, and I'm going to read uh, out what it is now. You know, um, the first bonus you get if you take action today, join now, is you get a 30 minute private one on one coaching with 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 us. Um, so, if, for example, if you join Brian, you know he'll he'll you have 30 minutes of his time. If you join me, you've got 30 minutes of my time, and it's value at $197, right? Because uh, that's how much we charge. Right, and uh, you get access to our live event mastery webinar as well. You get access to my um, my training on how to create an S one page. Right, uh, both of these are value at ninety seven dollars each. Right, we can charge a lot more because we spend a lot more money to actually um, uh, to actually acquire this knowledge. Right, you also get access to Alex Zubru's coaching call. With one of our uh, one of our uh, team members, and you also get access to Lawrence Tam's coaching call with me. 
So you're gonna actually be able to tap into exactly what uh, you know this. You know, I think he's he's earning 100k per month, isn't he? Um, he's, Brian? A, he's a millionaire. He's earned over a million dollars in 18 months with this right. one program. And you know, you can tap into his coaching call. It's really cool. You also get access to Team Tech Massive Actions Mastermind Facebook group, right? Uh, that is value at $197. The, the the coaching calls, they're they're, they're worth, guys. I mean, Lawrence Tam charges, uh, I don't know, like a thousand, two, three thousand dollars for an hour. Right? Five thousand, five six thousand. Five six thousand guys. So <laughs> it's really valuable stuff, and you get an hour of his time. And the last thing you're gonna get is access to the TTMA uh, training and sales funnel system, and that's value at forty-seven, uh, uh, four four hundred and ninety-seven dollars. So you get all of this for pretty much twenty-five dollars if you just hit the link below and join now. All right, guys. Uh, but we really want to meet you guys in Denver um, in a couple of weeks from now. And so we want you to take action. And, uh, you know, um, that bonus is actually for people who join today and buy a ticket to Denver, right? You get all of that for free. Actually, actually, I can, I can add on to that. If you buy, if, if, if you click on the link and buy now and, and get your ticket to Denver, um, I can actually set up a, a private webinar uh, the seating is very limited. Lawrence Tam's got this locked down, and, and, and it's going to be a private webinar with Lawrence Tam and a couple other things. And basically, he's showing some strategies that he's doing right now. Because what he did 18 months ago, what he did five months ago, that stuff isn't necessarily the same. The strategies change constantly. And that's why you need, like, a, that's, that's what makes the 15K so amazing. It's $1,000 one time, and then for life, you have access to what's working right, right now. Exactly, instantly, right now, what's working. Uh, and it's only a thousand dollars one-time payment. But anyway, so yeah, you get that ticket, and and Lawrence Tam will turn basically what he did for me when I was in Houston, showing me what he's doing with all these different social media sites, how he's getting people uh, that that actually they they want more than just twenty-five dollars, right? These are people that that are hungry, people that go all in. Uh, how he just added, you know, that guy Sean just just yesterday, boom, all in. How how he's getting these these forty-six hundred dollar daily sales um, regularly and consistently. So he's gonna he's gonna expose that on the webinar. And um, if you take action tonight, uh, if you're watching the recording, this is not on the table, but if you take action tonight, that is available for you. So, you know, reach out to us. If you're watching the recording, though, um, I'm sure Tam feels the same way that I do, that, you know, you're, you're seeing this now. If, if you, you like, um, you know, our, our hidden guest that, that, joined, uh, that joined Tam earlier, want to go all in. You want to treat your business seriously, and you want to have all the products so that you can not only absorb all the information, that these master marketers have, uh, you can also resell them for full 100% commissions. Um, I'll I'll get you four people in your downline uh, within within two weeks. I'll get you four people that will join your team. So just by just by setting up your business for success to where you can have $4,600 days, just by setting your business up, getting it completely set up, and then you got your you know 100 and something a monthly overhead. Just by setting that up. I will get four people into your business, so you'll have a team immediately. Okay, how's that sound? Pretty good. Can you can you That's offer that same bonus, Tam? I, I think you can. I, I can probably match that. You know, um, absolutely. You can match that. that. For, for, for people who who you know will get in and sign up with me, um, and the reason we're doing this is because we want to get you a leg up. We want to get you quickly started making money immediately, so that you don't quit the game. Right. Um, yeah. Well, basically, with that being said, I, I, I think we've gone on long enough, and we can, yeah, share, yeah. <laughs> we can only share so much in a yeah. couple of hours. Right. I'm getting hungry, Brian, and I really want to jump in that pool. But um, <laughs> you know, we can only share um, so much in a couple of hours. Obviously, if you connect with us and get on our team, we have more time then to really work with you, cultivate you to become the leader and the marketer that you need to be so you can start making the income that you deserve, whether it be 10K per month, 20K per month, 30K per month, 50K per month. Um, we're going to help you do that. And uh, so guys, lock arms with us. Meet us in Denver. Hit the link below. Take action now. Grab those bonuses. And Brian, any final words before I hit the end button? Hey, uh, I mean, we, we've given enough. I want to see you in Denver. If, you, if um, you know, you like what we teach right now, then you're definitely going to like what they show in Denver. So, you know, make the decision, lock arms with us now, get all in. Let me get 
four team members so that you have a result to talk about. And uh, you know, let's let's just kick ass, guys. I love you. Um, good night, guys, and good day, guys. If you're in Australia. <laughs> <laughs>